KLFY News 10 at 5. Hello, Acadiana. Thanks for joining us tonight. In our top story, there have been three shootings in Iberia Parish this week alone. Here's a map of the locations showing those shootings. The first one happened Sunday. Ashton Money was shot and killed on General Patton Street. A suspect, Caden Sheridan, has been arrested in connection to that shooting. Yesterday, late afternoon, a shooting on West Washington Street sent a man to the hospital with serious injuries. The identity of the victim is not known at this time. And just today, around noon, a third shooting happened in the city limits of New Iberia, this time on Mississippi Street, where a woman was injured. News 10's Dawson D'Amico is live at the location where the woman was shot, and she was taken to the hospital with Dawson. Am I reading this correctly? Five gunshot wounds? That's absolutely right, Dalfred. As you said, five gunshot wounds. Like you just said, this is the third shooting in Iberia Parish this week alone. At a, around 11 o'clock today, New Iberia police responded to one here on Mississippi Street, where the woman was indeed shot five multiple times by an unknown suspect. The incident took place in the 1000 block of Mississippi Street inside of a trailer home. Once the, uh, we received information that there was a shooting, officers responded immediately and began rendering aid. Sergeant Daisha Hughes with the New Iberia Police Department says because of the incident, there will be an increase in police presence in the area to make sure crimes like this do not increase since these crimes have not happened here in a long time. Uh, of course, we're going to increase patrol since, uh, you know, this incident took place. Um, we hadn't received many um, serious crimes in this area in a while, um, but yeah, we're going to increase patrols. Police are encouraging anyone who may have seen something to step up and say something. If someone saw anything, even heard anything, please contact New Iberia Police Department or uh, Iberia Crime Stoppers if they wish to remain anonymous. And back here live, Sergeant Hughes says there is a person of interest at this time, but they, of course, are not ruling out any possible scenarios until they gather all the information and evidence to be able to find out what exactly took place here earlier today. Once we find out more information, News 10 will provide more of that on our website at KLFY.com. For now, live in New Iberia, Dawson D'Amico for KLFY News 10.